So this is a uh, case presentation of a young woman, 48 years old, has a past medical history of diabetes, hypothyroidism, and uh, some alcohol use, but not necessarily uh, heavy alcohol use. And she's admitted with painless jaundice, sometimes uh, late in May this year. Her labs on admission show the bilirubin of 7.2 and alcohol of 341, LT 122, ASD 174. She was um, a febrile, white count was 9.2, platelets 413, RINR 1.6, and the kidney function was good. A CT of the abdomen that was done in the emergency room showed evidence of uh, severe intra and extra hepatic bureau dilation with a CBD up to 13 millimeters and an abrupt tapering in the head of the pancreas. And uh, incidentally, she was noted to have a uh, thickened gobbler of fundus, which was somewhat away from uh, the area of the stricture, and therefore we we'll consulted for further evaluation with the US and ERCP. An MR was also done and showed this beautiful image of a uh, dilated uh, common hepatic duct and uh, a stricture in the head of the pancreas, uh, but no obvious mass uh, in the head of the pancreas but some questionable wall thickening of the bile duct, just you know, at the area of the stenosis. This is a uh, endoscopic ultrasound image showing a uh, basically gallbladder with a what it appeared to be a soft tissue mass. So that you know could be you know sometimes you look at this image and say okay it's, it's just sludge, but you know uh, on closer inspection, it just looked like a soft tissue mass measuring about 20 by 70 millimeters. So I uh, was able to actually uh, do a final aspiration on it. There was no evidence of uh, pericholecystic fluid to say that the patient has active uh, cholecystitis at the time. That's a very large lymph node that looked very abnormal. And this was closer to the bile duct. So I felt like, you know, if the node would have been malignant, then maybe there's some infiltration uh, in the, and around the bile duct, which uh, was uh, very close to the area of stenosis. And uh, this was also sampled. This is a uh, image of a um, cholangiogram with a very nice uh, short stricture, somewhat in the mid uh, common bile duct. Uh, you can also see here a uh, very normal small caliber pancreatic duct, which uh, they pressed down to the papilla. And um, of course, the bile duct proximal district was very significantly dilated. Uh, and I was unable to feel the cystic duct here, so I don't see the gallbladder. A brush was done, uh, you know, so a brush biopsy was done here on this uh, stricture. And then uh, again, you know, because the patient did not have a pancreatic mass and, you know, not necessarily an obvious uh, mass in the bile duct either, uh, I decided to place a plastic stent uh, in this um, initial ERCP uh, and uh, waiting for diagnosis. This is the diagnosis. So the gallbladder mass FNA showed adenocarcinoma, the periportal lymph node showed also adenocarcinoma, and the bile duct brushing was negative. I mean, now we know that, you know, cholangiocarcinomas can have, you know, a very low um, yield on uh, bile duct brushings, but nevertheless, I did not see a mass in the uh, area of the stricture. So in the end, this was categorized as a gallbladder adenocarcinoma with uh, local uh, advanced disease and possibly infiltration around the bile duct. Then uh, now having a diagnosis, we brought the patient back about maybe, you know, I'm not sure it's not three months, just shy of three months, uh, mid-July. And, um, you know, we the intention was to replace the stent with a uh, fully covered stent for prolonged patency. And on follow-up cholangiogram, she has a persistent stricture. The you know, uh, common hepatic duct seems to be less dilated. Um, so move forward. Right now, you know, I was able to actually candidate the pancreatic duct and eventually decided to place a soft pancreatic stent uh, uh, in the pancreatic duct mainly to you know, prevent uh, pancreatitis uh, in a situation that will deploy a fully covered stent. This is uh, the choice, the stent was an eight millimeter by six uh, viable um, and uh, a seven French five uh, soft pancreatic stent. 
again, the viable, you know, we thought that would be considering the size of the duct, which was not very uh, dilated, would be probably the best to prevent migration.